In Anaheim, California, this is Convention TV at NAM. I'm Jill Nicolini for Testis Convention TV at NAM. This is our last complete day of broadcasting. However, for those of you who may have missed any of these first three days at NAM, we'll be broadcasting our Highlights Edition on Sunday. And as you know, we've been talking about the Music and Sound Retailers V Newsletter these past few days. Many of you have caught up with our editor, Dan Parisi, and our TV field reporter, Melora Donahue, just to tell us how much you guys appreciate the latest MI news being sent free to your desktops, iPads, smartphones, twice monthly. As a matter of fact, just as every day during this NAM show, excerpts from tomorrow's highlights of NAM edition will be simultaneously streamed to all 11,200 music and sound retailer readers worldwide. Now that's pretty cool. Let's go straight to the floor with the latest news about the show. Malora Donahue has the story. Hey, Jill, we're going to start today's show off at AKG. I am with Joe right now. Joe, what's exciting this year for you guys? Headphones is exciting. I mean, the NAMM show is always exciting. It's a very exciting show, but the headphone thing, you know, for AKG, I mean, it's been the foundation of what we do for 65 years. So we go from the low end all the way up to the very pinnacle of headphones. We have products that have been used for mixing by you know Grammy winning producers, but we take that uh, with the, the 612, make it affordable. It's new at the show here. We have the 712 that is a little bit a cut above that, but now we have a new product called the 812 that is phenomenal. The design is sexy, the sound is unbelievable. In the wireless world, we've taken our higher end performance wireless, we brought it down market a bit, so we have something that is at a price point, they're very attractive to uh, the, this uh, MI market, but with professional features. We're also doing uh, a, a lifetime warranty on, on microphones, on the D5. Jill, this is a big day at NAMM, so I'm sure I'll have plenty more coming to you from the show floor. For the pleasure of musicians everywhere, Dean Markley, show us your tubes. The Dean Markley CD30 and CD60 tube guitar amplifiers have been used and sought after by studios and elite guitarists around the world for decades. And due to their limited production runs over the years, they have been hard to come by. 2014 marks the 30th anniversary of these amps, and Dean Markley has committed to full-time production to celebrate the occasion. Well, it's backed by popular demand. This amp was introduced originally in 1984 uh, to great acclaim, and it was played by players like uh, Andy Summers, Alex Lifeson, Eric Clapton, and it's, it's a, a very highly requested product. So we, we brought it back. This time we have a, uh, we've had a, a digital reverb, it's actually an Alesis chip in there, and um, uh, it's a two-channel amp, all tube, and uh, high plate voltage is actually a very loud amp, very toneful amp, um, very glassy clean channel, a very versatile overdrive channel, everything from, from blues up through classic metal amounts of gain. Blending form and function, Reunion Blue scores big with the new RBX bags. Each bag is constructed using RBX protection system as well as dense foam neck cradle and end pin rest to secure the guitar in place. They're designed for musicians on the go. Padded backpack straps, an integrated subway grip, and Reunion Blue Zero G handle make getting around town very easy. It's the perfect um, features of price, protection, and portability. It's really what all the artists have been asking for us at the price point that we think is going to do very well. Uh, we've got everything from percussion to double gig bags, stick bags, and we're also going to unleash some uh, B&O and orchestra instruments. This next product's raising the bar on sound quality. Sony's PCM D100 audio recorder suits professional audio applications, including live music events. We want to talk to you about our new PCM D100 recorder and some digital wireless DWZ series wireless microphones. This is Sony's PCM D100 portable high resolution recorder. It has 32 gigabytes of built in memory. It has an SD card slot on it to allow you to expand the storage further. So this is our fourth generation PCM recorder and we're very happy to add it to our family. This is Sony's DWC series digital wireless microphone system. It's comprised of four different packages that are ideally suited for musical performance. Two of them are guitar packages, one vocal package, and an instrument package with a clip-on microphone. Be sure to save the day for Summer NAMM's return to Music City, July 17th through the 19th. 
Summer Nam gathers thousands of members of music products industry at Nashville's new Music City Center. What better place for three days of brisk business, valuable educational opportunities, and of course, music. Following last year's show, which was the biggest in five years, this year's event will be a must for businesses that are looking to thrive. See you there and on Broadway, bring your cowboy hat. All right, remember later in this broadcast, we will have more winners of the Music and Sound Awards and some late-breaking news items from the floor that you don't want to miss. Please stay with us. Breaking boundaries, crossing lines, honoring traditions. Ibanez, booth 4634. Proven at more than 1.5 million shows worldwide and boasting more than 30 feature updates since launch, Mackie DL Series Digital Live Sound Mixers hit the perfect balance of features, price, and performance. Come check out what's new for the Mackie DL Series upstairs in demo room 209A. Check out the smallest strobe tuner ever made. The Strobo Clip tunes with the same amazing accuracy as all Peterson tuners. Carbon fiber, stainless steel, and tunings for 29 instruments makes this the best clip-on tuner available. Peterson Tuners, $59.90. The revolution is here with the introduction of Harman's DBX Drive Rack PA2 Loudspeaker Management System. This product enables a loudspeaker system to be quickly and accurately optimized for the best possible sound quality. The PA2 is ideal for bands, musicians, and artists who carry their own PA and for a wide range of installed sound applications. Check it out at the Harman Booth 7800. RMX 500, Pioneer's newest remix station. Check it out now at the Pioneer DJ Booth, number 5810. Here at Peterson right now with my man Pat. Pat, what do you say we get Stroby? What do you got? Well, I'm not sure I've ever gotten Stroby before, but it is a NAM show, so. <laughs> We've got our full line of strobe tuners here, we, including our new HD Strobo Plus. Strobo Plus and all the others have sweetened tunings and one tenth of a cent accuracy. It really sets strobe tuning apart because all instruments are not created equal and they shouldn't be tuned that way. So we have special tunings for guitar, bass, ukulele, almost any stringed instrument and wind instrument you can think of. We've got them in clip-on formats, pedal formats, bench top, and our rack mount tuners. Very cool stuff from Peterson. A prophecy becoming a reality from Dave Smith Instruments this year. The company's Prophet 12 module is a tabletop and rack-ready reworking of its 2013 Prophet 12 keyboard. What we did is we took the keyboard Prophet 12, which has been very popular since its release in July, and we shrunk it down as much as we could. Now it's backpack size, it just slides in, take it on an airplane, take it wherever you want. The signal path is right here. Everything is incredibly fast to get to. You just hit a button and you can change your oscillators. If you want to change your filter, change an envelope, everything's incredibly fast, but you still get the huge power, the huge sound of the Prophet 12 keyboard. In addition, the character section adds a variety of wave shaping and sound sculpting options like girth, air, hack, and drive. One of the most buzzworthy images here at NAM is the MI debut of Triad Orbit Advanced Microphone Stand Systems. IOR quick change couplers are standard equipment on every Triad Orbit microphone stand, boom, and component. They capture mics, booms, and stand accessories with ease. We've reinvented the mic stand from the ground up with weighted articulating tripod bases, Orbit orbital booms, a single and a dual orbital boom, and I.O. quick change muck couplers allowing you to drop them in and out and adjust your mic across the sound field to precisely where the position you would like and lock it down. We're changing the way microphone techniques are used today. It's time for the clash of the Titans. Vic Firth is here introducing their Titan drumsticks. They've been designed with a technology to maximize durability and playability. Each stick is made from an advanced aerospace grade carbon fiber composite. Really to us the very first stick that's been a synthetic stick that performed like a wood stick and we're getting countless feedback from players just loving what they do here. Remarkably durable, incredibly consistent in pitch and weight from stick to stick. You'll find no more than two grams difference between each one, whether you play one pair or a thousand pair. 
here are some more music and sound award presentations, an update on what you can expect at Summer NAM, and more. So please stay with us. Personas has moved to booth 5700 in B Hall. Active integration mixers and PAs. New Eris speakers. A seismic new studio subwoofer. Notion Notation software. Metal pack and other add ons for Studio One. Stop on by. Welcome back to Convention TV at NAM. This program is independently produced by Testa Communications, the publisher of the music and sound retailer, DJ Times, and Sound and Communications. These programs are transmitted throughout area hotels and from the floor of the show 24 hours a day with a brand new show each day. It is also sent to 11,800 worldwide readers of the music and sound retailer. Thank you guys so much for watching these past few days. We really appreciate it. Oh, and when you get home, please remember to look out for your V Newsletter emails or go to msretailer.com slash V Newsletter and continue to get the latest MI product news and sometimes even gossip that's not available anywhere else. Also, let your colleagues know that they too can get it free twice monthly just by signing up for the magazine, also free at the website. Now, let's get back to it. I've got a collaboration story that I just found from the show floor that I want to share with you. The name Rupert Neve is iconic in the recording business. Now Mr. Neve and Reinhold Bogner have teamed up for a new and exciting line of pedals. Reinhold, tell me about this collaboration. I got to know more. Well, uh, hi, Melora. Thanks for stopping by. Well, we, um, we basically introduced now uh, a new line of pedals which incorporate like an audio transformer. And there was only one guy that came to my mind, you know, like the iconic Mr. Rupert Neve, who designed all the old consoles. So, like, basically, he designed us the audio transformer that we could have put in now in our various pedals, like overdrives, distortions, buffers, and compressors. And it will, you know, people a different kind of feel and a different kind of like harmonic contest in the in the in the pedal world for guitar players. TC Electronics' newest heir to the looping throne is the Ditto Looper X2. It houses all the features of the original Ditto Looper, but with some cool new additions. Ditto Looper X2's new two-button user interface allows for a dedicated stop-clear foot switch and a button for effects, which triggers reverse and half speed. So on the new Ditto X2, we have the, the ability to take tracks in and out of the pedal via USB, so you can create your own backing tracks, or you can use some tracks that we've done with great guitar players, so you can have Paul Gilbert or Steve Morse as your rhythm guitar player. There's also an extra foot switch, so you can get loop effects, play the loop back in reverse and backwards. Um, and you can also have a dedicated stop foot switch, so you can actually stop the loop exactly when you want it. Help Zildjian honor a legend with the addition of the Kerop line to its legacy K family of symbols. In memory of Kerop Zildjian's contribution to symbol making and commitment to craftsmanship and new models are reminiscent of symbols from the 50s and the 60s. We've spent years talking with drummers and asking them what they need, and they've been asking us to really find this kind of vintage voice in the K Zildjian series and it's a very very reminiscent of symbols that you might have heard in the 50s, 60s and 70s whether it's K Zildjian or A Zildjian. We spent a lot of time looking at different hammerings, 
lathings, finishing. And one of the big things is people have been asking us to uh, make the symbols look older. So we spent a lot of time researching how to get that patina that develops naturally, how to do it right away. So we've done that, and we realized that that really lent itself to this, what we're calling corrupt sound. Each bell is hammered up into its own shape. Even though they sound like a family, they're very individual. Here's another 22. And another 20. Reverend Guitars has been helping showgoers find musical religion with their Pete Anderson PA1 HB Custom plus the Warhawk RT. The HB Custom joins the Reverend PA1 series. It has the classic hollow body look and feedback controlling Uni B Ray system. This is the latest in the series of Pete Anderson hollow bodies. Has two humbuckers, Elnaku humbuckers, trapeze tailpiece, ebony fretboard, and it has a violin finish with the flame maple back and sides. Uh, locking tuners and it also has uh, headstock binding which is a nice touch so it's aimed a little bit at the uh, more jazzier guy whereas the earlier models were more uh, rockabilly blues. And we'll be right back with the Lifetime Achievement Award, Joe Lamon and Summer Nam and some tweets and tweaks so please stand by. Get to know the new Dean Markley with 36% growth since May of 2012. Dean Markley proudly introduces the Platinum Partner Program, including a first-class lesson program and certified tech program. And get a free iPad mini with an opening order of $1,500 or more. The Platinum Partner Program from the new Dean Markley. Check it out at booth 5766. Owner's collaboration with respected luthier Hilario Jimenez has produced a new line of bajo quintos, classical guitars, vihuela, and guitarron that combine tradition and innovation, including differentiated features that are targeted to the needs of the growing Latino music market. Check it out at the Honer booth, 3240, Hall D. Hi, I'm Yul Jabara, CEO of Galaxy Audio. Our family business has been growing. Please stop by booth 6200, check out our new ergo mic, mixers, and DSPs. Soundcraft has released two new products for your rack, the SI Performer and the Soundcraft Real-Time Rack, featuring UAD-powered plugins for VI Series mixing consoles. And check out AKG's WMS 420, the ultimate plug-and-play wireless mic system. See it all at Harman, booth 7800. Okay, Jill, I have seen so much cool stuff over the past few days, it's pretty mind-blowing. Incredible product, but you know, that's what this is about. NAM is about new product, it's about innovation, but it's not every day or even every show that you get to see a first ever product. I found something really cool over here at Singular Sound. Dave, you know, this is your baby, so tell me about it. Well, the Beat Buddy is the first ever guitar pedal drum machine that allows musicians to control the beat with their foot while they play their instrument with their hand. So just by tapping the pedal, they can insert drum fills, transition from verse to chorus, add accent hits like cymbal crashes or hand claps to give extra flourishes to the sound. And even though it comes ready to use right out of the box with 200 songs and 10 drum sets, users could upload their own content using standard MIDI files and WAV files through the included user interface software. Thanks, Melora. NAMP's show floor is looking better with the Hotbox EXA wash fixture from Blizzard Lighting. The cast aluminum wash fixture includes seven 15-watt RGBAW plus ultraviolet 6-in-1 LEDs. Full on, it will throw 11,000 plus lux output at one meter. It can achieve any mixed color, natural white color and temperatures, and intense ultraviolet light. I've made my way over to the arena and I'm at the Blizzard booth with my man Frank Lupino. Frank, can you catch me up to speed on the latest technology in LED lighting? True UV black light. Up until now, the black light LED market, the UVs have not been very good. Ours sit at the 385 nanometer range, giving you true black light. You now have the ability to have one fixture that can color mix any color you could possibly want, as well as if you have an event that needs black light, you have that in your fixtures. Also, when you mix UV with other colors, the brilliance you get is, is absolutely amazing. 
So the two fixtures that have that are the Hotbox EXA with seven of those 15 watt six in one LEDs, or the Rockbox EXA that has 18 of those six in one LEDs. Just do it with Alfred Music's DIY ukulele, DIY rock guitar, DIY guitar, DIY keyboard, and DIY drum set. With this series, there are no limitations on how, when, or where musicians learn their instruments. Now, this series offers interactive streaming content to complement each lesson in the book. No teacher is necessary because lessons are very simple to follow. And this is the first time ever that you have book and streaming online content, totally cloud-based. So a customer can walk into a dealer store, purchase a DIY book in guitar, bass, keyboard, drums, ukulele, and then they'll uh, get an interactive code inside the book that they'll be able to, to download at any time, any place, the interactive content. Prepare for battle with the Armory series of snare drums from the Mapex Drum Company. The series spans five specifically crafted snare drums, Tomahawk, Daisy Cutter, Dillinger, Exterminator, and Peacemaker. It's five different models, five different tastes, five different sounds. We have hybrid shells, maple and walnut, birch and walnut, steel, and hammered steel, and also traditional maple. New Mapex Armory Piston Strainer, new Mapex Custom Tube Lug, 2.3 millimeter power hoop, Remo USA Coated Ambassador, the standard of the industry, and on the bottom of the snare drum, we have Black Panther snare drum wires. We'll be right back with the scoop on Summer Nam and a legendary brand makes a new push on this market. RMX 500, Pioneer's newest remix station. Check it out now at the Pioneer DJ booth, number 5810. Visit booth 5990 to see the highest definition tuner ever made with a USB rechargeable battery, high def display, loads of sweetened tunings, and legendary Peterson accuracy. The Strobo Plus is the new standard in tuning. Peterson Tuners 5990. Musicians and DJs are tired of unexpected radio interference ruining their shows. The UHF 5900 wireless mic system with the frequency scan feature can automatically search and set to an interference free frequency. Voco Pro, booth 5876. Hi, I'm Robin Walenta, and I've got standards. I'm Bill McGloin, and I've got standards. I'm Joel Menchie, and I finally have standards. I didn't start off with standards. But having them made life a lot easier. More efficient. And definitely more profitable. If you're in the music products industry, it's not too late for you to get standards. Everyone should have standards. Hey, if Bill can do it, anyone can. It's true. Find out how to adopt B2B technology standards in your business. Do you have standards? Hey! Hey you! Over here! Yeah, yeah, over here! Here I am! Now try to do that with an ad in the daily. See it, hear it. TV works. Hey everyone, it's MD time. I'm talking about Melora Donahue. Mel, take it away. I just had to swing by the Cassia booth to catch up with my man, Mike Martin. Mike, first of all, I want to say congratulations on the Keyboard of the Year award. Uh, thank you so much. We're so thrilled that the Privia PX5S won this award, you know, voted by our dealers. It's a product we put a lot of work into, um, and it's uh, you know, bringing us uh, exposure with so many professional musicians over the last year. Well, you obviously deserved it. So now my question for you is, though, I've been hearing a little rumor going on that you guys have something really different over here from Casio. What's going on? Yeah, so obviously we're known as a keyboard and digital piano company, but this year we've got a new product in the DJ category. So uh, we've partnered with Vestax, and we have a new Casio XWJ1 DJ controller, which is works for iOS products like the iPad and the iPhone. Uh, as well as computer-based products like your Mac and PC. It's a really full-featured, lightweight, pro controller for uh, professional and amateur DJs. There's been lots of back and forth the past few years about the Summer NAM show. The association's position has always been that if there are interested dealers who benefit from the show, then the show must go on, right? Well, Dan Parisi, the music and sound retailer's editor, caught up with Joe Lamont to see what the expectations are for the summer 2014 show in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeehaw! Joe, Summer Nam's always had a strong core of supporters. Tell us about its value for the industry. 
You know, through the years, the independent dealer has really found Summer NAM to be, I think, I think, in my opinion, a real asset to their planning. Uh, the NAMU courses that we um, have in the summer are directly geared at the independent dealer uh, who are trying to prepare for the fall and winter selling season, Christmas selling season. Um, so we think that the summer show, we had a great show last year, which is really nice to see it uh, on the bounce back. So we're, uh, we're real, real hopeful that we'll keep the base of independent dealers who really like the show, uh, build some of the exhibitor base a little bit more uh, to support those dealers, and, uh, and then create a couple of um, uh, other magical moments like we did this past summer with Insights. So we're working on a couple of things that you just uh, you have to be there to see. So that's our hope. We'll accomplish that in July again. We hope to see everyone in Nashville. Electro Harmonics hit it out of the park with their new Slammy Pitch Shifter Harmony Pedal. It combines a powerful new algorithm with the company's Next Step Effects platform. So you get superior tone, glitch-free operation, and precision control. Uh, it has 11 different settings uh, that you can control using the uh, max bend control. Those are all usable intervals, and you can use those intervals either in the up or down positions, so that makes for 22 sounds. And then you have the option of blending in the dry guitar signal or not, so that gives you even more tonal possibilities. Unlike traditional wah or volume rocker pedals, they all they're on a bass and they have pots inside. It can go dirty and cra give crackle in your signal. The slammy and the next step sit. Uh, don't do that because, you know, it has no moving parts. It's just got uh, a kind of sensor built inside and uh, that takes care of the, the up or down position. And before we close this segment, if you go to the Alvarez booth, get ready to meet the master. That's right. The company is unveiling its all solid wood masterwork series. There are 14 new models with five body shapes. Chris, I know over here at Alvarez you guys have mastered guitars, but uh, I understand this year there is something special in the works. Can you tell me about it? Yeah, we're uh, launching our new Masterwork series this year, Melora, uh, which is our all solid series. Uh, and uh, we've been working on it for about 18 months, new bracing system, new woods, new cosmetics, trying to raise the bar a little bit as always, so we've got something exciting. And uh, yeah, 2014 we'll be uh, concentrating on this line. Okay, let's shift to the only awards where the industry pays tribute to its own. I've heard people call it the Grammy Awards of the MI industry, and I kind of like that name myself. I'm talking about the 28th Annual Music and Sound Awards, and as always, they are presented by the folks at the Music and Sound Retailer Magazine, which is the industry's only, you saw it first, news and product tabloid. It is undisputedly the magazine that everyone in this industry reads. Dan Farisi has been giving out these awards throughout the last few days. Here are reactions by some of the winning dealers. Alto Music really cleaned up this year in the Music and Sound Awards. Five big awards, including Multi-Store Dealer of the Year. Congratulations, guys. Outstanding job. Thanks a lot, Dan. Really appreciate it. Uh, it was a good year, and uh, guys did a great job. And do it again this year. Do this every year, Mitch. Sweetwater always wins a lot of music and sound awards. You got four this year, including several in the single store category. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It's always an honor and a privilege to win these. We appreciate the recognition. Here with Hermes Music, Multi-Store Dealer of the Year, Sound Reinforcement. Great job, guys, and congratulations. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it, and we really thank all the people that uh, recognized us. This is our second year back in business, and we really appreciate this award. Here with the folks from Village Music Wellington, our best new dealer for 2013. Congratulations, guys. Hopefully it's a great 2014, too. Thank you. We're so grateful, and this is going to give us so much energy to move our business forward and keep doing what we love to do. Here with John from Sam Ash, the best multi-store dealer in the category of keyboards. Congratulations to Sam Ash. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate it very much. It's a great store, and now it has a music and sound award in the area of percussion. Lone Star, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks for the award, and I'd like to thank everybody that voted for us. Here with Robert from IDJ Now, multi-store dealer of the year for DJ Equipment. Congratulations, Robert, on an outstanding year. Hey, thank you guys. Uh, just want to thank Testa Communications, as well as all the vendors who voted for us, and uh, we really appreciate the recognition. Thanks so much. I'm here with Marion Holloway from Holloway's Music. I'm delighted to give him Single Store Dealer of the Year. Congratulations, Marion. Thank you very much, Dan. It's quite an honor, and I want to thank uh, all the vendors that voted for us, and what a select group of folks I was 
put in there with. Very humbled and very honored. On behalf of independent small music stores everywhere, I give you my thanks. I'm here with Adam from Chuck Levin's Washington Music Center. Three big music and sound awards again this year. They're a perennial winner. Congratulations, Adam. Thank you very much. Uh, this is very much testament to the, the family atmosphere that we have at the store. Started with my grandfather and my grandmother, um, the memory of my father, and it's, it, it lives in all of us, and that's why we, we do what we do, and we, it's a family operation, and it has been for every department, and that's why we do what we do. So thank you very much. It's a great honor, and we're, we're proud to be here, and we hope we keep winning these awards. Thank you. Now it's time to honor the Music and Sound Award winner for Lifetime Achievement. Vinny Testa, publisher of the Music and Sound Retailer and producer of the program you are watching right now, will do the honors. Vinny, take it away. It's with a great amount of pleasure that I present this award to Paul Reed Smith. Thank Congratulations. Thank you very much, Vinny. It's great. That's, I don't even, you got me speechless. I, I, I love teasing you and I can't now. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Thank well, you, you can't so for today. You can go back I'll to go it back later tomorrow. On. Thank you so much. It's a real honor that you did this. Thank you very much. Well, again, to be honest, now I'm, yeah. I had nothing to do with it. It really is the industry that voted this. Oh. It really is. So I hope that doesn't change your opinion of no, me. No, you can't. But it really I, is a, I, I it, it's like, a credit to you. Look, it's a real honor to be standing here doing this with you, and I still like teasing you, so it's all good. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. Well, that's it for today. And, of course, if you missed anything during these broadcasts, you'll find a complete wrap-up in the February-March issues of the Music and Sound Retailer. As always, thanks for watching Day 3 of Testa's Convention TV at NAMM. Tomorrow, we'll be broadcasting the best of the last three-day shows. We will also have new content for you as well. In case you missed something these last few days, there's a good chance you can catch it tomorrow. And again, I'd like to thank my TV cohort and friend, Laura Donahue. As always, you were great, Mel. Aw, uh, thank you, Jill. I appreciate that. Now, you know I always not only love doing this show with you, but just being a part of the NAM community. It is truly one of my favorite times of the year. Now, I also got to let you know, Jill, that you are doing a great job on V Newsletter. I always watch it, and I hope everybody else does too. Thank you, Mel. And you're the best. But before we sign off, remember, TV works. Look, hey, you're watching it. You're watching me right now, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, we thank you all for that. Again, I'm Jill Nicolini, and for everyone here at Testa Communications, we thank you for watching. See you tomorrow for our highlights show. Have a good night. Be safe. Have fun. Welcome to the NAM show and the brand new Levy's booth. And this year, my darling niece has begun designing guitar straps for us. Thanks, Uncle Harv. Yes, this is the first year I've designed my own straps. I'm really excited about them. Why don't you come by the booth and I'll show them to you. I'll also show you the Danica approved straps for 2014. Celebrating Tama's legacy and the drummers that made us the strongest name in drums. Tama, booth 4634.